Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting to Dave Chappelle comparing Hillary Clinton to Darth Vader. Let's see what he has to say. Yes, I voted for Hillary Clinton. Of course I did. I voted for her because I liked what she said vastly better than I liked what he said. Vastly. But to be honest with you, at that point, that shit was like watching Darth Vader do the I Have a Dream speech. <laughs> that bitch is mean as hell. She had already cried <laughs> kids sweat, Bernie Sanders' legs from underneath them. Boy, it was hard voting for that shit. <laughs> but that, it was the lesser of the evils. I know you were a Clinton supporter, Miss I. I'm sorry to say like that. It didn't feel bad voting for her, but it didn't feel as good as it should have. But can you imagine Darth Vader giving the I have a dream speech? Just everyone pause. Let's have a moment of silence and think about what that would be like. What? <laughs> I feel bad voting for her, but it didn't feel as good as it should have. She was going to be our first woman president. They were going to make coins out of this bitch. I think that was a two way like they were they were going to make coins like literal coins and put her face on them, but also like money, just the amount of money from like the storm of media of it being the first woman president. I think he meant that in both ways, in my opinion. <laughs> and somehow she just missed the dunk. Oh. Of course she should have beat him. Of course she should have beat him. You know what voting for her felt like? It was bittersweet. It felt like I was lucky enough to eat Halle Berry's pussy. <laughs> and whilst I was doing so, she fucking farted in my face, man. I did not know where he was going with that. I did not, I couldn't have guessed where he was going with that one. My goodness. Fucking farted in my face, man. Dang. <laughs> now you understand, I'd still do it. But boy, I wish she didn't fart in this great nation's face. <laughs> I oh voted that day, gosh. and then that same day, I flew to New York City. I had work. That night, I was in a comedy club in New York, and I said to an audience almost exactly what I just said to you. And I didn't know that there was a journalist in the room. And this oh journalist gosh. wrote an article. The headline of the article said, Dave Chappelle is an avid Donald Trump supporter. Yeah. I now, no how does the reporter get that from that? Just because you don't like one thing doesn't mean you like the other thing or support the other thing, like at all. Just because you say like apples are mushy does not mean you only like oranges. Like that's such a weird thing when people do stuff like that to me. And I mean, I know that's like the media's job is to like spin things. And because he said something, a joke, because that's his job about Hillary Clinton. Now they're saying he supports someone completely different. The man just said, he said it exactly the same way. He, he really wasn't on, on board for anybody. It was the lesser of two evils for him. Like, so that means he wasn't really on board with either. Like, where do you get this from? Why do people do that, guys? Donald Trump supporter. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea the paper said that. And you know how I found out? My wife called me from Ohio the next morning in a goddamn panic. David, David, what the fuck is going on in New York? I said, I'm being good, but what have you heard? <laughs> what have you heard is like such a scapegoat way of like, you tell me first. Also, this whole time I've been wondering what was in his hand, and it's, I think it's a vape. I think that's a vape in his hand. That's so funny. I've, I've been good. What have you heard? <laughs> My wife said, the paper is saying that you're a Donald Trump supporter. 
I was like, whew. That's it? That's not so bad, right? I said, don't worry about that shit, baby. <laughs> Nobody in their right mind would believe that. And she said, no, David, people believe it. And then she started reading the comments to me. Oh, they were terrible. All these black people calling me all kinds of Uncle Toms and shit. I should tell you, buddy, this is a very serious allegation from one black to another. From one black to another, and he's literally looking in the face of a non-black man. <laughs> oh, I love Dave Chappelle. A very serious allegation from one black to another. <laughs> I was incensed. Uncle Tom! <laughs> How am I Uncle Tom, nigga? You the one that reads The Observer. <laughs> anyway, all this shit goes down. And uh, Saturday night rolls around, and now Trump is the president, and I'm hosting Saturday Night Live. All of this happened in a week? And I didn't really like prepare my monologue. I just kind of winged it. Great. And the Great. monologue, I don't even remember what I said. I said something like, you know, fuck it, like we're uh, historically disenfranchised and we're going to give him, something about we're going to give him a chance if he gives us a chance. I don't know what I said, but whatever I said, I, I really wish I didn't say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was not working. Oh, he's so serious. He's so serious. I really wish I didn't say that. Now I feel like I need to go watch this monologue because I don't think I've ever seen it. What did you say, David? Wish I didn't say that shit. <laughs> He's so it serious. It's not worth the trouble. Now I walk into the barbershop and all them black people just be looking at me like, yo, Dave, what's up with your boy? <laughs> yo, nigga, yo! <laughs> not my boy. <laughs> Cause I don't care if you're a Republican or Democrat, if you support him or not, any objective person is gonna have to admit that uh, this motherfucker is having a terrible go of it. <laughs> he really is. We've had presidents before that have done bad jobs, but this shit is worse than a bad job. It's scary to watch. <laughs> Holy shit, it's like seeing a crack pipe in your Uber driver's passenger seat. How does he come up with this stuff? Also, the phrase, have a go at it, is just a funny phrase to me. I don't know why. Why don't you have a go at it? He took a go at it. I don't know. It's funny to me. Oh, David Chappelle. I, pr I can imagine he feels like he puts his foot in his mouth a lot. A lot. And he doesn't care. So go have the day you deserve. <laughs> Peace.